to Car X Drift Racing. I played this game last week and I really didn't know if I would like it very much. Long story short, I liked it a lot. In that video that I made last week, a bunch of you guys left some suggestions of some mods that I should try out. I have downloaded those. And there's actually also been an update for the game, which I have also downloaded. So today in Car X Drifting, I'm gonna try some new cars, try some mods, and try online and see if I'm any good. Currently, I am level 11, which is not very good. And the one thing I don't want to do is use mods to cheat my level. But I do want to get this. This is a Mustang S650, the brand new Dark Horse. If I can get to level 12, then I can unlock it. Before we get into that, what if we start today with a little bit of 400Z customization? And then once we level up to level 12, then we check out our new Mustang. Let's go for a nice little drift setup. 600 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. I think that'll work. D-Master is actually pretty cool. It's actually quite wide body. Pro Flow, yo, that's even more wide body. And look at that front bumper. And then this one is sick. This one's like straight out of need for speed. Started off with some headlights. Uh, no, no, no. We definitely want headlights. So we've got blacked out headlights, regular headlights. Let's go for the nice blacked out one. Then we have two options for our front bumper, a black one or a painted one. I kind of like the black one. Bone stock, there's a little fin. We could remove that or we could add a little roof scoop to it. Chat, do we add the roof scoop? I think we have to add the roof scoop. It looks pretty insane with no rear bumper. What do we think? Bumper, no bumper, no bumper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about a rear wing to make up for the lack of body parts on the rear, though? That is a big rear wing, bro. 1.2 mil. Drop it on the 400Z. I think the only thing I might do is just bring my wheels out a tiny, tiny little bit just to make it that little bit more aggressive. We can download some liveries. Forsberg? No way. Nissan 400Z badges. I kind of like this retro style paint job. It doesn't work perfectly with the car, but I think that looks pretty good. We've got to use this thing until we get to level 12. I need about 3,000 XP. I think we can do it. I guess I should hit up East Toge. Let's see if we can get a gold medal. What a beautiful paint job. I, I don't know why. Hear me out. This might be controversial, but I kind of like beige cars. And I, <laughs> I don't know why. One of the big things that people were telling me is I really need to be smooth when I play this game. And that's something that's going to take a very, very long time to get used to. So bear with me as I learn. It's only my second time playing this game. So give me some... No! I think that's going to be a gold medal gonzo. No. Ooh! I'm gonna push it as hard as I can, but there's no way this run is being saved. Final corner. Keep it on the road. Wow. I mean, we're gonna get a silver medal, but that was a messy, messy, messy run. We really need those big initiation. That's too much ankle. <laughs> we need to send it, but maybe not that much. No, keep it on the road. Keep it on the road. Not too much power. Don't slide too wide. No. I literally tried to go for a big snap to get more points, and the car just snapped away from me. No! Yes! <laughs> Mega backwards! I just got 4,000 points for Mega backwards. So if I, like, actually spin out like that, then you get silly points. So wait, if I go like that... <laughs> I've already got 15,000 points. Is there like a steering angle mod that I could get for my car? Chat says ultimate is best. Yo, look at what it does to my suspension. It slams it to the ground. We get more horsepower. I need to do something with my steering angle. Max steering angle, 65 degrees. And Ackerman angle. Turn that up a little bit more. Three stars coming up. Attempt number two. Now with the new tune. Oh my God. Oh my God. We've got 850 horsepower in this thing now. I won't have any power problems. I've got way more steering angle. Oh, that's so sick. Oh my god, you can see my tire letters on the inside of my tires. That's when you know you've got hella steering angle. Look at this ultimate angle, awesome angle coming in every two seconds. I know it's not the smoothest drift run anybody's ever done in this game, but man, when you actually start to get it, it literally just snaps from max steering angle to max steering angle. Gold medal. First try. <laughs> 
All right, if I try this on one more track, we will successfully level up. Let's go to... How about Mundello Park? Come on, 400Z. Snap it in. I don't even know which way this track goes. So I really just need to snap it in. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, brakes do not work. Brakes are an optional extra that clearly were not selected. I'm honestly at the point where you just send it into the corner. No care in the world. And you kind of just hope for the best that you're gonna make it through. Bro, I got gold medal. And this was an awful run. Are you kidding me? Level 12, baby. We go back off to the garage and into the catalog. It is finally here. The Cobra Mustang. We gotta go ultimate, right? 900 horsepower. Yes. Oh my God. I can extend my rev limiter and everything. You could crank the turbo pressure. 1,200 horsepower. That is insane. We really gotta dig into these body kits. Stock body Body kit. Then we can mess around with everything in here. This is option one. Yo, that is a hundred percent a dark horse. Then this is... Wait, this is the GT3 car. If you actually saw the new Mustang like GTD that got announced, this is like the race car version of that. Street X actually has a really interesting wide body, but I love this. Oh my God. We are gonna make our own homemade Mustang GTD. <laughs> I think I actually like the standard headlights. Then for our front bumper, we could run no front bump. Look at the shocks in there. Anyway, then for our hood, I think this one is slightly more race car. After that, we can get the dark horse rear wing, the GT3 rear wing. I'm gonna go for this one. That looks sick. And then last but not least, I need some tires. Let's go for the Proxima tires. All right, I think we're done. How hard do you think it is to make a livery in this game? All right, buy the blue, tint up the windows. Just a bit. There we go. That looks awesome. I think again, we've got to fix up the suspension a little bit. Bring the wheels out just a bit. I love this car. I think I just dropped like two million bucks on it, but I think that is a hundred percent worth it. Let's give it a go. Should I go try to drift around Bathurst? What could possibly go wrong? The sound! If I like scrape the walls up Bathurst with my massive rear wing... That was so not smooth, but I didn't touch. I'm a meter away from the wall. No! That was intentional. That was just an impromptu 360. What a car. I can't believe this is actually working. I fully should not be drifting this track, but I love Bathurst. Oh, bend it again. Oh my God. What an animal this car is. 0.1 meters away from the wall. Whoop. Whoop. Whoop! <laughs> I literally got gold by, what is that, three times? That was awesome. I think the Mustang might be the best car I have in this game. Should I try to tandem with myself? How hard can it be? Hold on, let me do what I was doing again. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've got to get like a minimum score of like 80 on my opening run. Big ol' snap to make sure we get that sector zero score. Then send it through there. Go all the way wide. That's a pretty nice score. 84! Yo! That's what I'm talking about! So all I need is a 65 and I will level up. I've got to stay close to my ghost. That's the thing. I need the score. I think this is gonna be it! Across the line! I kind of crashed into him. Come on. Let's go! We just leveled up and got level 13 immediately. And now that I got that, I now have access to one of the coolest tracks in the game, Kami Road. I'm gonna show you why this place is so cool. If you're a fan of Toge and like JDM stuff, this is the track for you. This brings me back to Forza Motorsport 4 Days Drifting Fujimi. It's kind of like a spiritual successor to Fujimi with a little bit of initial D and all of that sort of stuff. And the fact that I'm drifting down this road in a Mustang GT3 is insane. Anyways, you know how at the beginning of this video, I said that there were actually some new updates for the game? One of the updates for the game was actually on this circuit. There used to be guardrails on like the left and the right hand side. If you want to go off-roading and drive through the woods, you can. If you want to yeet your car off the cliff, you can also do that. I think I might have been wrong about this game two years ago. Drifting right the way down the side of a Japanese mountain with a Japanese temple on the side of the road. So cool. Is it going 
gonna be gold. It's gold, baby. Yo, chat, can I just make one and you guys can join? Wait, there's four people in here. Oh, oh my God. Hello. I'm not alone. That guy's car is so cool. Oh, collisions are on. We can just come up here, vibe together. Oh, that's so cool. Chat, I'm not even joking. The more and more I play this game, the more just like cool stuff you end up finding. Look at that tandem. The tandem is unreal. My first ever car X tandems. Oh, that's a crash. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, these guys all have legit tunes and stuff probably. And here I am in a car that I built myself in five minutes. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's so many people in here. You can actually jump in a drone. Is this Forza Horizon 5 or what? It literally feels like the same thing. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at these two. Look at them. What? That is way too cool. <laughs> All right, well done, boys. GG. Somebody in chat said that I could turn the LFA into 1,700 horsepower. Ultimate, 1,400 horsepower in the LFA. If we hit up the dyno stand, tune the engine, tune the horsepower and the torque up. Chat didn't lie. 1,700 horsepower. Wait, that's where that mod is that I downloaded? <laughs> I downloaded this mod like months ago. Yup. Yoink. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who needs an LFA when you have a Ferrari? All right, we got to give it a go. What type of body is this? Oh, look at, <laughs> look at my driver. All right, it's a Ferrari with no obvious flaws, okay? What a stupid car. I love it though. Jeez, look at that angle. Fully holding it the whole way through there. Once you actually know what you're doing in this game, as it turns out, you can just pull some insane scores. She's the point system. And just rack in. Oh, unlimited points. That was a sick 360. Maybe next time I should try it on my wheel. How hard could it be? 